munchkins. Help feed the hungry munchkins. Great! Solve the problem, do not simplify. What is 4 tenths plus 3 tenths? When you're adding fractions together that have the same denominator, you're going to make sure that you keep the denominator the same, then add your numerators. 4 plus 3 equals 7. 4 tenths plus 3 tenths equals 7 tenths. Nice! We want to know what 2 6 plus 1 6 is. So when we're adding fractions, there are three steps. The first step is to make sure that the denominators are equal. So since both fractions have a denominator of 6, we can see that the denominators are equal since they both equal 6. So now we can move on to the second step. The second step when adding fractions is to rewrite our new fraction with the denominator of the two fractions. So since our denominators we're 6, our new fraction's denominator also has to be 6. And now our third step is to just add the numerators. So we get 2 plus 1, which is 3. So this tells us that 2 6 plus 1 6 is 3 6. Good job! Amazing! Monsterific! Super! We have 10 divided by 0. So let's say we have 10 apples. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 apples 
and we're dividing by zero. So that means we are making groups of zero. Well, how can we do that? We're making zero groups, so that means the correct answer is C, undefined. Anytime the divisor is zero, our answer is always undefined. Way to go! I like it! Keep it up! You're awesome! Super duper! Wonderful! Correct! Choose the answer that fills in the blank. So we have 1 over 4 and 2 over 12. So our denominators are 4 and 12. And in order to figure out if they are equal or unequal, we need to match the denominators. Those are the bottom numbers. So 4 times what number will equal 12? Well, the answer is 3. So we have to multiply this fraction by 3 over 3. So now let's go ahead. And now we're doing this to first match the denominator. So what do we get? We get 1 times 3 equals 3, and 4 times 3 equals 12. So now we've just changed 1 over 4 to equal 3 over 12. So now we're going to go ahead and compare these two. We have 3 over 12, and we are going to compare that to 2 over 12. Now our denominators are both the same, so we can look at our numerators. We know that 3, our numerator here, is greater than 2. Remember, the big mouth eats the bigger number. And so that means that 3 over 12 is not equal to 2 over 12 because these are two different numbers. So the correct answer here is B. They are unequal to each other.
Great! Nice! Good job! Amazing! Monsterific! Super! Way to go! Munchkin tummies are full! Time for a nap! is part of Adapted Mind Super Skills. I know hard math is supposed to make me smarter, but most of the time, it makes me want to give up. Go outside! Watch TV! I just don't get it. Yet? Huh? Who's there? You don't get it yet. Okay, Buster. Wait, Incredimonster? Nope. you are, you should know that I'm not smart enough to ever get it. Don't be silly! Rolfie! When you were a baby monster, did you know how to talk? I guess not. I mean, please? It was hard at first, but instead of giving up and thinking you weren't smart enough, I... you kept trying, and you learned how. Ice cream, please? Since the brain is like a muscle, if you keep trying, you'll get smarter. I have been trying, though, and I'm not getting anywhere. Uh, maybe try harder? I've been trying really hard. I'm sorry. That wasn't very helpful, was it? It's okay. Come on, I've got an idea. Critterwatch Field Guide says that she can usually be found after school in the local area. Saving someone's day! Oh, ah, that tickles! <laughs> Don't worry, I sometimes get distracted by the cakes too. Oh, hi guys! It's such an honor to watch you work! <laughs> Thanks! How can I help you today? Um, Miss Incredimonster, ma'am, did you have to try really hard to become a superhero? You bet I did! What did you do when you were trying hard but getting stuck? I taught myself to try smarter. Whether you're trying to become a superhero or finish your math homework, trying smarter has four steps. Step one is to study your weak spots and set goals to make them stronger, little by little. Step two is to check your progress with a parent, teacher, or friend who's already a pro. I love how-to videos, but they only take you so far when you're building an Incredimobile. Step three is to focus on what you're doing with your full brain and heart. Distractions will happen, but try to stay focused as you practice over and over. Step four is the most important. Learn from your mistakes and never be mean to yourself for making them. That's the key, really. Instead of beating yourself up when you don't do well, tell yourself, I can't do this yet. Because it reminds you that your brain is growing. 
following those four steps was how I became a superhero. Gotta run. But remember, try smarter and don't forget the yet. You know, I don't feel like giving up anymore. This incredible watch field guide was a great investment. I'll set goals to improve my weak spots, get help from Miss Einstein, stay focused, and, well, I guess I can be pretty mean to myself when I mess up. I'm not great at learning from my mistakes. Yet! When you're stuck on a challenge, do you ever feel like giving up? What could you do instead? So, what can we do next time you're stuck on a challenge? Yeah! Studying your weak spots, checking your progress with a parent or teacher, staying focused and remembering not to be hard on yourself for making mistakes will help you overcome the challenge. I'll definitely remember that next time I'm stuck. But I'm a bit confused about how to do all the steps of trying smarter. Step one is to study your weak spots. Can you help me figure out how to do that? That's a great idea! But before I can improve, I've got to understand what needs improvement. Taking a deep look at my mistakes and figuring out exactly what I don't understand is a great place to start. Since I often have trouble with my math homework, what's the best way to check my progress? That's a great idea! After we make mistakes on a test or homework, we can check in with a parent or teacher and ask them to help us understand why we're messing up. I think I understand how to study my weak spots and check my progress, but staying focused? Oh, it's super hard for me. What's a good way to stay focused? This can really help. Every time I'm tempted by a distraction, I'll remind myself why I'm trying to focus. Remembering why I want to do the activity and why it's important to me helps me stay focused. The step I have the hardest time with is not forgetting the yet. I tend to be really hard on myself when I make mistakes. Are you like that too? What could we tell ourselves next time we're stuck or struggling with a challenge? That's a great idea! Whenever we feel discouraged, let's remind ourselves that if we try smarter, we can overcome whatever challenge we're facing. We may not get it yet, but eventually we can. Look, munchkins! Help feed the hungry munchkins. 